to tell you is that this text teaches us that when God is with you, every situation is going to work out. When Samson rose, he didn't know that God had left him, but he found out that his strength was gone. It is a frightening thing for anyone whose talent or their skill has been blessed by the power of God and then to find out that it's gone. To discover that something is missing that I used to have. It, 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 it was Samson who knew immediately that God had departed from him because his power was gone. What I want you to know is if God leaves you, I'm talking about the folk in the room here from the pulpit, the choir loft all the way to the door. If God leaves you, here's what's going to happen. Happiness is going to turn into sadness. When God leaves you, joy is going to turn into sorrow. When God leaves you, departs from you, victory becomes defeat and weakness is the order of the day. When God leaves you, homes become houses. Husbands and wife just happen to be two people living under the same roof. When God leaves you, the upward climb becomes a downward fall. I said, when God is in your life, beyond the ritual, beyond the symbolic religious symbols, there is a difference. God was with Saul. He conquered his enemies. He rose to fame. But God left him, and he fell on his sword. When God was with David, he became a man after God's own heart. But when God left him, he lost his joy and almost his salvation. And he had to call on God and say, I'm sorry. And I want you to give me a clean heart and a pure start. When God is really in your life, he will take your despair and he'll turn it into delight. I said, when God is really in your life, he will take your failures and turn them into success when God is in your life he will take your loneliness and turn it into friendship I said when God is in your life he will take the hatred out of your heart he will take the jealousy out of your spirit won't he do it he will take your shame and he'll turn it into glory. I know a God who can work it out. All we have to do is walk right, talk right, live right. And the only way to do it is to call on Jesus. Is there anybody here ever called on Jesus? Oh, won't he make a way? Is there anybody here ever called on the Lord? Because without God, we can do nothing. Without God, we are drifting like a ship without a sail. So I came by to tell you, stay out of the wrong barbershop. I came by to tell you, Satan is trying to steal your power. But I want you to know we serve a God who is stronger than the devil has ever been. He got all power. Is anybody hearing me? I'm talking about Jesus, the lily of the valley. Anybody know him? If you know him, raise up your hand and say, thank you, God. Ain't he all right? I said, ain't he all right? Keep on telling the story how he died on a Friday. He died until the sun shut his eye. He died till the moon dripped away.
away in blood. He did die, didn't he die? But early, early Sunday morning, he got up out of the grave with all our power. Somebody say all oh, power. Somebody say all oh, power is in his hand. Ain't God all right? I said, ain't God all right? Anybody here feel like praising him? Because he's been good to you. Sometime up, sometime down. Oh, He's been good. I said, ain't he been good? Say yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. He's been good. And we ought to say thank you. Somebody say thank you, God. Somebody say thank you, God. Woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. I should have died in my sleep. But God, but God kept his hands on me, kept his hands on you. Shake somebody's hand, look them in the eye and say, God, walk me up. God, walk me up. God, walk me up. Didn't he do it? Didn't he do it? Yeah! Didn't he do 